welcome Z Familiary. Thank you for joining us. Okay, guys, so we just got this on the road. The guest for today is a social media digital marketing expert with over seven years experience. He has over 300,000 followers across all social media platforms, which is not an easy feat. He has gone on to partner with tons of brands, some of our most loved brands. And um, he's also the founder of the Deep and Learning Foundation, which is home to the Give a Girl Child a Pad um, initiative, which is really commendable because I mean, the whole movement is something that should be championed and it's really impressive to see how well he has taken this forward. And um, today, this is Evolving Minds on the Creatives NGO group of creatives coming together to champion the cause of creativity in Nigeria and hopefully carry Nigeria's creativity abroad and to the world as an impressive export. So we're talking about thinking outside the box with social media. No other person to tell to us about this than a lifestyle influencer with niche in like entertainment, food, travel and tech. So I'll just go on to bring him on. So we is there a stereotype? Like do you expect it to be a certain way? Is there a stereotype? Well anybody can be a social media influencer. A a anybody can be a social media influencer. Anybody and anyone. Okay. How did you find this career path? Is this something you're like, you know what, I'm going to open a Twitter account and I'm going to be an influencer? Or did it just happen? How did it happen? So I'll be I'll say something honest. Um, I'll say something here. Yeah. So honestly, yeah, um most of my myself and my friends that are probably probably social media influencers right now, we never plan to be influencers here. Yeah? We just okay. we are all just having fun and tweeting and enjoying the old um retweet and the rest of it. The brands started pay um approaching us like, Oh, I like what you do. Um can you can I pay you to do this for me? And that was the way it started. So none of us plan to be influencers. Don't let anyone lie to you that oh, so I growing up, I plan to be a social media it's a lie. We all jumped on we were just having fun and brand said brands started approaching us and Okay. We, we took it serious, basically. It's good that you mentioned brands because I was going to ask, is, is having a niche? Now, you, um, um, most interviews you say, oh, my niche is lifestyle, travel, tech, and food, right? Is it important to have a niche or is it anything? You could just do anything as long as social media or having a niche is important. Is having I, a niche... I, actually, having a niche is actually very important because people, know, people are going to know you for something. Look at okay. it's either you're a YouTuber or you're a tech blogger or you are a food blogger or you're a travel blogger or you're a lifestyle blogger or you're a food blogger. So let them know you for something different. That will this English you oh, sorry, English case you. That would make you that would make you different from other people. Basically. Okay. Okay. So but for you now you have a couple of things you do. How yeah, do you I'm merge this? Because in your niche the niche I listed, if I missed any, please let me know. I said lifestyle, food, travel. And tech, how do you merge those? So I I do lifestyle basically. So we those of us that do lifestyle, we are like thieves. So we can do different things because we have to do it live again. What is this? So we're like thieves. <laughs> we are like thieves. So well, I do I do lifestyle basically. So I, at the same time, I can do like um, travel. I can I don't do tech because I don't know I don't know tech. But I, I do oh. I do lifestyle. Okay, okay. So currently, there are a lot of people that would, with this lockdown now, this is like a whole time for us, people to focus on career path, like, like, okay, something I can earn from at home. Would you say this is the wrong time to start a career as a social media person? No, this is a great time to start because everybody's basically at home and everybody's glued to their phones and their internet. So this is a great time to start. Okay. Okay, so a couple of people, let's just jump right to it, right? How has someone become um, a and person like, forced to reckon with on social media? So, um, sorry, I'm just going to run through. I, I don't want to forget anything. So I have um, like a template, like something on my phone. I okay, sure, please. Hey, shit, sorry. So how to be, your question is how to be, and if you run down how, how to be. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, sorry, I'm just going to run through the document I have on my phone. I've been, so I have it. Um, sorry, guys, it's taking like five few minutes to come up. Okay, no so this, basically, okay. how to be an influencer. Um, so in simple terms, here, yeah, influencers are social media personalities with a large number of loyal and engaged followers. 
So it's not just about the no, about the numbers. Are these people actually loyal? If you tell them to do A, are they going to do A? If you tell them, guys, it is C, are they going to do C? If you tell them, guys, we have a new president, will they follow you without even thinking about it? That You have to have influence and authority over each other. So it's a lot more people. than the numbers. It's a lot more than the numbers. You can be, it can be 100 followers and you have authority over the, those 100 people. You are a great influencer. So um, most influential share... Um, most influencers share a friendly rapport with your fans. So you are not just an influencer. As an influencer, yeah, you should have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with these people that follow you. Then that is when they can stand you. When you retweet their co when you reply their comments, when you um, jokingly play with them on the timeline, let them have a feel, this feel with you. Okay, so how to become an influencer? Um, number one, you have to identify, identify your niche. So everybody keeps saying niche, 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 niche. If you want mm -hmm. to become an influencer, yeah, you can't expect to be a jack or gene of all, of all trades. It's good, it's fun, because you can be able to do different things, but it's actually best you have, you have one thing, one, two, three things people know you for, or master of none. It's crucial that, it's crucial that you pick a niche that aligns with your image. If you are good with photography, or if you are if you are a food person, I don't I don't think you should be doing taking because it doesn't align with who you are. If you love traveling so much, I don't think you should go into um, into um, some other things that does not align with what you what you are. You can actually do freely. So you should turn. So this is me telling you to turn your your fun into passion. Okay. You get. So an, an easy way to select your niche is to evaluate your strengths and your weaknesses. Choose a niche that allows you to showcase your inner strength and play with your skills. Deciding on a particular niche will help you streamline your audience and tailor your content to suit their preferences. This is why it's good to have a niche. So you are not, you are not just doing different things at the same time. So we we'll start by, we have different, there are different things you can do. Travel, you have travel. We have lifestyle, we have fashion, we have food, we have beauty, we have sports, we have games, we have entertainment, tech, health and fitness. So out of all these things, out of all, the, all these things, you will be good with at least one thing. Um, so you don't have to, and again, you don't have to limit yourself to just one of these categories, yeah? You can combine mm -hmm. two or more of those niches, niches. For example, yeah, you can combine travel and lifestyle, they align. You can combine beauty and fashion, they align. You can combine food and travel, they align together. So don't, you, just, you, you don't have to be, pick just one thing. You can pick two or three things that, you know, align together. So okay. after you pick that, pick a platform. Okay, so this thing I, I want to do, where is my audience? For a tech person, you know that is YouTube. Okay. Because you, have, you, have, you are doing more videos. So it's YouTube or Instagram. If you are doing tech and you are, and you have you focus on Twitter, you are just wasting your time. Pick um, YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. You get it. so um, as an influencer, you need to have a powerful presence on the internet. However, that doesn't mean that you should use every social media platform and distribution channels out there. Depending on your niche, certain platforms might be better suited for your content than others. That's why I said you have to know that okay, this is where my audience is and. This is where um, they are based. Shout out to Billy K. Boss, well done, Boss. He's a very great entertainment person. Oh, okay. Um, so I'll move to prioritizing your content. I'll probably share this with you later on so you can share with Okay. Okay, so um, I will attach the document under the link to the replay, which will be available on YouTube, guys. So if you're missing this or somebody you know that wants to watch this is missing, don't worry, Crazy Energy will put up the link to the replay. So there's something I said, prioritize your content. Um, High-quality content is perhaps the most potent answer to the, answer, um, to the question of how to become an influencer. It is extremely important to publish unique and authentic content that resonates with your audience. Don't come and post what he posted in the morning and you are repeating the same thing in the afternoon. It doesn't make sense. Who told you have not seen what he posted already? Or come with the same um, caption Insta blog posted because you feel like it's Insta blog and they have a, a very mad way of um, 
capturing their post, then you, you come on YouTube into your own blog and use the same caption. I'll tell you, before I come to your blog, I'm going to use that blog, Insta blog. Your blog is like probably the last place I'm visiting for that day. You get so you have to have your own unique way, your content has to be original. Okay. Yeah, so that is for that. So great content, original content, unique content, that is very key. Um, listen to your audience. And effectively to ensure that your content gets traction is to create content that your audience wants. Test strong different things with your audience. Try food, um, try different topics. Look at the topic that has the most engaging. En engaging. Okay. Look at the most engaging post. Try it again, again and again. If that is what your audience wants, give, continue giving them that. So it's, it's all about the audience. Aside your, your passion, yeah, it's all about the audience. Your passion, okay. you have to find a way to, to start making money of your passion. Your passion won't pay your bills. I'm sorry. Sure. This is not abroad. Bro. Let's just respect ourselves. Um, in order to get a, um, relevant content ideas, you can run a book search on Google for your niche. Google search is there for your help. Scroll down to the bottom of search results to find long keywords that are being used by your target audience. There is nothing you are looking for. There is nothing you want to start tomorrow that somebody somewhere has not done before. And yeah, so really. just search Google. You'll be shocked that, ah, ah, I thought this was an original idea. Someone someone thought about it four years ago, but never made it of it, but dropped something on Google. You will always see clicks. You will always see bait. You will see bait everywhere. So um, that is that for that. Then your hashtag game. So it's not just about posting. You get you are upcoming, you are new. People have to find your content. But a lot of people use hashtags to search for things. Okay, what are people talking about on this hashtag? Look at all this Bob Daddy dance challenge. Mm. Like if I, once, once I'm done with my own, I click the hashtag to, to, see, to see other people's own. I'm like, oh, this is mad. But if I want to do a new challenge, I'm like, okay, what are these people doing? What are the new style dance step? I go and check hashtags. So hashtags hashtag works so well. Um, if you are wondering how to become an influencer and well at, at it, the answer is to make use of the right hashtags your content only becomes valuable and meaningful when it reaches the right audience imagine creating a mother's video and you are having two views are you going to be happy with yourself even even jesus will be so we would be happy on your behalf so you get you have to hashtag works and another trick is once you post share with your friends your family and friends share it to your whatsapp groups Share it to your, your mommy that is only sending you busy every day. Send it to her. Let her, let her watch it. Since she's only busy, she can send let, let her watch your video too. It starts from there. Tell her to share with it with her own WhatsApp audience. Let's keep pushing it like that. Like, yeah, that, like that. Yeah. <laughs> like that. So another thing is you have to maintain consistency. Publishing high quality content on a regular basis is one of the most effective ways to retain your audience's attention. When you deliver good content on a regular basis, it creates a sense of participating among the audience. Look at um, Fisayo Fusudo. Fisayo Fusudo is probably one of the best tech guys in Nigeria right now. Look at Miss Techie. The way she has developed. Videos are crisp. Like, you will want to watch another one. You want to, you, you will be glued to your page. Those are quality content and be consistent. Don't post today and the next time you're posting is December. Like, I don't understand. What is your problem in life? You get so be consistent with your posts and the rest of it. Another one is collaborate with other influencers. I know we all want to start below. We all want we all want to be king and the rest of it. But you are new. Collaboration works. It doesn't kill. The highest you can get is a no, and no doesn't kill. When you start when you are starting out, um, and still wondering how to become an influencer, partnering with someone famous in your niche can be of great help. See, tell them you have them carry their bag. Tell them you have them clean their shoes. Just that, that. That, that's tricky. That's tricky. How willing are famous people in these niches to? They have tons of requests. So how can your requests stand out among all the requests? The way you present it to them. The way you present it to them. Okay, so I would give you my I would give you my my own example. Show you. So I, when I started here, there is mm -hmm. um this person, Mister Big Timing, is like my uncle. Now, but when I when I started, I met him and I just told him, that, "See, I don't know what you do, but I like what you do." I met him at an event and I was like, "I don't know what you do, but I like the way people everybody's coming to you. Can I just work for you for free? I just want to learn." And he looked at me and like, "Okay, what's your name?" I said, "Pamela." He said, "Oh, nice name." He said, "What do I do?" I said, "Um, I'm an engineer, but I do graphics." 
and said, okay, they have to come to his house the second day. So okay. some people don't even want to work for free. I don't advise, I don't tell people to work for free, yeah, but sometimes it is needed for that big. When it starts now. Again, it's, you can look for different tricks. Look for, there are a lot of, Nigerians are not gone. Look for different things. All these people, like, there are some things you turn, I'm like, ah, oh, guy, okay, come. You get so just look for ways to get people's attention and okay. um host contest old engagement for your engagement yeah, do give it ways i know we are all broke right now nigeria is easy we are all broke we are all broke there's no money <laughs> there's no money but not basically give away it doesn't have to be money especially okay. if you're a youtuber if you are reviewing a phone tell us okay do this and you are getting a power bank. It can be at this was five naira. People appreciate these things. Okay. It can be something of five naira. Just it should make you glued and what they they want to participate. Next time they want to come again. Next time they want to come. Before you know it, this people will be preaching. Will be your your um evangelist. They will want to be preaching. Oh, so the person is giving you a real come away. Come away without your own knowing these things. And another thing is go live. Let them see you. No idea inside the keyboard. I, you can, I know some, some of us are introverts here. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about some of us. Some of us, some can, of us. Be, <laughs> some of us can be introverts. Even though the corona thing has made all of us introverts now. We are, we are all in the... Hey, hey, follow me. You are an amazing guy. Some of us can be introverts. No, so right, right now we are all introverts here yeah, because we are all in the... You know. So go live. I, I think live is the next thing now. If you go in your life now, you'll be seeing social persons like this live, 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 live. Everybody's live right now. So who says you cannot go live too? When you are live, look for engaging content. Now sit down. This is a new thing. Sit down. Tell people like, okay, I'm adding you to my life. So how have you been? Tell us your own story. So look for different things. You don't have to shake bomb bomb, but look for oil. You get tell us new things. Look for a way to engage your audience. Look for a way to engage with your audience. Okay. Because so and again respond to your fans or your friends. I, I don't call my, my people fans, I call my followers friends. So that gives them a level of entitlement. I like like um it, um ah, see English will feel you when you need it the most. Uh, oh, oh. Hello. Oh. a sense of belonging. Ah hey, you the best people are all. You give them a sense of belonging, like, oh, actually, family rates us. Oh, it takes us as friends, not fans. Fans, I think, I think fans is disrespectful. You get, but, but when you call them friends, they say, wow. What about so followers? What about saying followers? No, so, call them, look for sweet names to call these people. Can See, that is what sells. Call them friends. It gives them, like, you're like, ah, so I'm family is friend. Follower is too busy. Call them friends. That is your word. Okay, friends. So, respond, respond to your fans or to your friends. Yeah. Sorry, and more people start uh, appreciating your content. Uh, they are likely to leave this feedback in DMs and comments. Responding to each and every comment might be a a whole lot of tax. However, it is advisable that you reply to as many people as possible. A, a response from you, a response from your side validates the truth that your fans put in you and makes them feel more connected to you. It is that for that. So are you ready to be an influencer right now? So you're giving us tips on how to be influencer and I'm sure a lot of people have taken notes because this is coming from the great vibe. Um, but how does one think outside the box with social media, considering there's no new, there's no new, nothing new on the face of the earth, and no content or whatever, whatever niche you're trying to go into is new, so how does one think outside the box with social media? So this is an example here. Everybody's, uh, everybody's talking about, um, it's talking about, 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 about food. You're a food okay. blogger, for example, and the normal thing this you guys do in your industry is you show us this, you show us that, you show us this, you show us that, you show us this, you show us that, and you show us how you, you, you broke it, and the next thing you are frying, and the next thing you are, you are tasting. You can do something different. Who told you Who told you that you can't start by boiling, you can't show us how to boil water? Don't answer that. 
assume everybody can boil water. Show sure, how to boil water. What I tell you that I don't think any Nigerian blogger or or, or vlog food vlogger has shown us how to how to make how to make you know how to make local foods. Most of them don't do this. Everybody is doing intercontinental dishes because they want to everybody's doing abroad food. Who told you that I, I know how to do eba? Who told you that I know how to make amala? I've seen videos, but those ebas are like the ones that school that brought, those flat A ones. Yeah, who show us yeah. how to make begiri and they will do proper one. Not the ones that went abroad. I want to learn these things. Show me how to boil water. Show me how to boil egg. Show me how to... That egg I'm see, 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 there are a lot of things. Up a lot for. See, there is... Look for different things. If, don't tell us, see, everybody's going to... See, you can take a task. Tell us, as, as, a, as a travel blogger, this is the amount of hours that will take you to buy down. Coincidentally, I'm a travel blogger, so please go on. Tell us, you want to start, you want to check, you know all these guys that check for Buhari that check. Mm -hmm. as, as a travel blogger, you check to Ibadan, or you check, okay, Ibadan is so far. You check from Ikeja, from Ikeja to Maryland, and, and document it. Okay. A lot of things are happening on the road. You'll be shocked. A lot. Mm -hmm. So that is, see, on that road, you get a lot of content. That you won't know you won't, you won't know when you get to Maryland from Ikeja, or, but you are working. So these are things, different things. Ah, oh, oh, I'm too. Ah, oh, I'm too hot. Ah, I'm too hot. It's allowed. It's allowed. I'm too hot. Ah, I'm too hot. I'm too hot. <laughs> so basically, see, there, there are a lot of things. To be honest, okay. you just have to sit down and look at your surroundings, look at your environment. And just, just think. Don't even think too much. These things will come out. Okay. So guys, if you have questions, this is a good time to start dropping them. All of you that want to become influencers or want to push your niches forward, you have the guy with you now for the next, say, 30 minutes or so. And do not waste it because getting a hold of him may be a little difficult. So um, he has given us tips on how to be influencers and has also gone to give really useful examples on how to think outside the box and also declared that he has too much sense which we all agree at this point because he has dished out a lot <laughs> he has dished out a lot of knowledge now being on social media we can't dispute the fact that there's a lot of toxicity like clapbacks <laughs> and, <laughs> and this if it was good morning and somebody insult your mother <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You know it's true. Actually, yeah. How do you deal with negativity on these platforms, various platforms? For instance, the most vicious one, Twitter. How do you deal with that on Twitter? <laughs> ah. How do you deal with that? Okay, so I'll tell you what worked for me, and this has always helped me. So this is where I see life. I believe I this is where I see life as Everyone, I, I look. At, I look at everyone like we are driving. So there's this thing that says, when you are on the road, you are as a driver. Everyone is mad. Every other drivers are mad. You are the only sane driver on that road. So you look at everyone okay. and like, ah, mad driver, mad driver, mad driver, mad driver. You are the only sane person on that road. So this is why I see people mm. online. I see people as Nigeria has done a lot for us. We are not happy. We are angry. We are frustrated. Everyone is frustrated. If, if we are all angry. Even me, I'm frustrated. You get because Nigeria is not helping. So I believe everyone just when they have the opportunity, we have a phone, and the best way to relieve themselves of that frustration at that point in time is to type. So I see myself as a doctor, yes, as a therapist. So people come to me. So whenever people say things about me, this is where I see them typing. You are mad, you are very, very unfortunate, idiot, your mother is sick, this, this, that, that, that. And when you are done typing. You're like, oh, I'm fine now. That's where I see people. So I see myself, I'm like, oh, Nigeria, uh, Nigeria has done bad into you too. Hey, yeah, sorry. You are fine now, I'll be awesome, perfect, good. So you are done. I've been able to heal you as a therapist. Is that where the Dr. Pam Pam came from? Actually, yeah. Okay. So I've okay. been able to heal you. 
so you are fine. So that's the way I see life. I believe everyone is angry and frustrated and they are just looking for who to pour their frustration on. And it will never be me, Luruko Jesu. <laughs> no problem. If you are angry, I know, I will just look and laugh at Nigeria. Look at your son. Okay. And you are, if, I believe when you are done typing that thing, that nonsense, you are all right and you go. So you have to understand that there is, there is life outside of this Twitter. There is life outside this internet. The moment you understand that, you have a problem. So don't see, don't see everybody as mad people, that you are the only same person among different mad people. So the moment you see yourself like that, nah, you have issues, and you're like, ah, kill me in time. What is this mad person typing? Ah, ah, mad person. You, so you, you want to be fighting with mad person. It doesn't make any sense to you. People yeah. will think you're mad too. So just let them go, and that is it. That has helped me a lot, and it's still helping me. Okay. So this um Ekans, sorry if I pronounced that wrongly, he says on Pam Pam, with the way things are going, giveaways are the only way to get people's attention. What can you say about this? My dear, I won't lie, with giveaway. Your content will not sell. Nigeria is in a lockdown. It's food for what? If it's not food <laughs> or money. Nobody is working. So I will lie at this point, yes. Giveaway. But when you are doing your giveaway, yeah, push engaging content too. People will listen to you. Pick Sorry, one minute. If you guys talk again, I'll say for you. You should have I'm sorry. I'm live with... Or since I'm busy, I'll embarrass you for this life is this thing. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, <laughs> so, when you can, it's good to give, do giveaways, yeah? Pick a time to eat. Tell them... All right. Tell them, give away by five. You're you are probably giving up 5,000 alone. So, but tell them, uh, it's a return. It's trade by butter. Turn on my post notification. You must engage my content. You must like, you must retweet. So I'm tweeting from morning, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You must retweet and like. If you are not, I will, I'll be paying attention to people that are liking and retweeting. I cannot be giving you free money. You have to pay me back. You have to work for the money. So you have to work for the 2,000 you should I'm giving you. So by that, you are, you've been able to go... You are growing your followers, you are growing your audience, your contents are going far. If you like, say rubbish to, from money tonight, they will retweet. And people, if they are not work, if they are not your audience, your audience are seeing it from their own retweets. Again, okay. so that it's truly like butter. It works. Okay. So that's so mercy, mercy gets oh one says, how do you turn negative reviews to your advantage? Um, okay, let me use myself as an example again. So um sometimes about two years ago or last any last year someone said tweeted a random guy from ibadan in his one bedroom apartment tweeted that um your favorite influencer your favorite influencer shares signship part whereas his mom his mom sells again motion so so someone shared with me i was not even in lagos i was not even i was in abuja Someone shared it with me. I said, Family, did you see this? Is zero comments, is zero retweets, is zero like. So nobody engaged with it. Known to them. So I said, uh, yeah. So next to me, yeah, it's something I would have I'm I can be very savage. I would have replied him. I would have called his parents out. I would have called his generation out. So I, I was about typing that, but something just said to me, family, calm down. I think this is time to promote this woman's business. Then I said, then I cleared everything I typed. See, the, all the things I typed here, yeah, it will blow up. It's sure for me to die. Because people lots will pick it up. Like, ah, your favorite influencer response gives savage response. But I said, no, this is a great way to sell this business. So I quoted it. I said, for um, my mom makes, so I made it personal. You have to understand that emotion. So emotion, wait. Emotion has to be attached. The endurance love, anything that has to do with parents, anything that has to do with, uh, with um, love, the endurance love, love. Even though some people don't believe in love. And they also love love. Have for this, uh, they love love, I'm sorry. But you guys don't love love. But you guys love love. Anything love like this, you see that, oh, God, wait. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, I, I said to myself, why not just turn this, this thing around and promote this to my business? So I said, my mom, Pay attention, my mom makes the best hoagie. The fact that I said my mom, everybody paid attention, like, okay, what are you about to say? 
You get because that's to do with parents and Nigerians love anything that's to do with parents. Look at the viral video that went viral. This video that went viral some um about yes, yeah. yesterday uh, when the dad was beaten. You see his son. Yes, exactly. Exactly. because it's parents. Everybody jumped on it. That's how people carry that personal problem and enter the matter. But leaving that aside, so I said my mom makes the best ogi, ogi white, ogi baba, ogi this. I make the, I, I'll, I'll be your delivery person. People were like, wow. This guy, with your influence, you are promoting your, your, you promote your, you promote your mom's business. Wow. In two days, we had over 400 orders. And again, you know, Ogi, Ogi, you know, everybody sells Ogi, 50 naira, 100 naira. Yes. But what makes this Ogi, your family's Ogi is different, is the family flavor. The fact that I brought it online and I carried it up my head, like, I'm selling Ogi, my, my mom sells Ogi, and I'll. I'll Oh, um, I think your, your name had Ologi in it. Oh, Ologi. Yeah, was that around that time? Yes, it was during that time. That was what made me have, have that name. So and people were like, wow, celebrities buy this Ogi every week. We, we, we import, we send this Ogi abroad every week. Don't tell me, they, you can't tell me that they don't sell Ogi on your streets. But the fact that it's probably familiar with Ogi, that is what makes it different. Yeah, so when people are trying to throw something at you, take no, before you rest, reply, yeah, think about how can I turn, how can I make this thing to an advantage? Oh, they say I don't know how to sing. Sing more. We, they, will, they will keep complaining, but do it. Continue. Continue. Again, okay. just look for ways to turn these things, things around. They sell a lot. Okay. Someone says, um, Virgil says, what can a Twitter user or an aspiring influencer do to get noticed by top influencers. I've said it before. Your content, number one, your content has to be great. Yeah, I have to know you for something. You have to be, you have to be teaching out, teaching out great things. You, and you know, you can't be doing whatever what everyone is doing. You get there are a lot of other people that are actually doing the same. If you are doing the same thing, everybody is doing. Then I don't think I need you. I need, I need you. So I, I have to, I have to need that thing you are doing for me to be able to work with you. Okay. Um, so Francis says you are speaking in the sense you are making brain. So I think where this conversation is driving somewhere. If you are an aspiring um, influencer, please let us know. Celebrity kills. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Blessing. Blessing Kure. Do you have PDFs on influencing that you can share? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to share this with the document. I want to share with you after after this. this okay. Is, so as he has said. PDF will be available after. Please check the Creatives NG. Follow the Creatives NG as well and the video replay of this interesting conversation that's going to be helpful in case you missed some part um, will be up and Creative NG will share the um, the link to that. So, who is asking for my name? My name is Blessing Kure. Sorry, guys. If you joined late, that's probably why you missed the name. My name is Blessing Kure and um this is the creatives ng so more questions what's the difference okay i think i like this one what's the difference between clouds clouds chasing and influencing so basically yeah number one nigeria we need to understand that that work clouds we are all chasing it because why you are influenced here yeah, and you are telling the story for a, a client the reason why a client is approach, approached to you is because they want whatever they are pushing out to go viral viral so most of those stories you are pushing out are not true stories that has made you a cloud chaser mm -hmm. everybody is tweeting to get retweet and to get engagement you are a cloud chaser so nigerians misuse that word they just say it's a hey, any small thing oh it's chasing clouds that's your personal business and your past your family problem yeah so the moment you realize that we are all doing this thing even you that just asked me that even you that replied me that family you are cloud chasing that your response, you want to get it sweet and engagement and like you are cloud chasing too. So what okay, is the so for the boss? <laughs> I'm not fighting with anybody here. I'm just telling you. No, 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 no. She was. It was just a question asking. Um, I'm, I'm asking in a very good way. So we are cloud chasers. Okay. Okay. One or the other, knowingly or unknowingly, and she's a cloud Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How lucrative is social media? Because we all say follow passion, follow the way you want to go. How lucrative is it so that some people can realize? 
I'll, I'll be honest with you. I know I'll be honest with you, yeah? It pays more than a lot of bank managers. Yeah, what some bank managers make per month is what some, some people make in a week. So, but you have to get to that point. It's not going to be easy, I'll be honest with you. You have to get to that stage. So when, when they are listing most paying jobs in Nigeria, I read I, I read in an article like um government job, if you work with NAPC, they pay they probably pay seven hundred K or eight hundred. Or so but some mm -hmm. managers some brand managers get paid by about one point five million. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> this look at look at Itaoma for example. Itaoma will charge you seven hundred K for a video. And Taoma is making five videos five to ten videos in a month how much is that now who, which manager collects five million a salary every month yeah so it's so that's why it's small appearance other appearances that are not even involved like someone someone can send oh take this hundred key let me post this oh Taoma, take this hundred key let me let me push this up those are small small fees mm -hmm. but it pays hundred k small small fees okay sorry no, 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 you are inspiring. No, it's, it's cool. You are inspiring a lot of people because, you know, in as much as people want to follow their passion, it's very important to see that your passion is not going to leave you hungry, especially these times where things are very um, good. Okay, someone's asking how they can be your personal friend since you attend the same church. Oh, send me a DM. Tell me. Yeah, Do you respond to your DMs? Actually, 99% 90, 90 of my DMs, I respond to them. That's impressive and commendable as well. So, how are you hiring? Not for now. We are on break. Even okay, Nigeria is on well. break. Okay, Nigeria is on break. Sorry, maybe you could check back. Keep checking back. But if you're hiring, would you put an advert up for people to? No? Sadly, I don't. I don't. So, are they supposed to be hiring? Crazy, <laughs> ask me personally. I can hire any time. I feel that I need a strand. Send him your CV. Uh, someone is still asking, what can they do to be on your team? Can I be part of your team? What can they do to be part of your team? Send, send me can I be a See, okay, so send... can I be your PA? You know them, I know them. Okay, you know, how am I supposed to know this? What, the people I'm supposed to ignore now? <laughs> okay, okay, so, um... <clears throat> Is there, we have just like 10 minutes to the top of the hour, right? So guys, keep your questions so that I can quickly answer that. But before then, how, um, how, how do I put this now? Any final advice for people that want to create influence? Um, number one, I'm, I, I'm going to go spiritual right now. This is a pastor in me, yeah. So, okay, well. So you have to understand that the people you look up to, what took them 10 years? don't think who says you can't take you one year to, to get there you get just be yourself be consistent be original originality is key let them know you for something different you get i know it's good to aspire to perspire to, before you all those things but be real to yourself see the moment you know that okay this is who i am be original don't allow anyone lie to you you have to be yourself okay. for example and again look outside all these things People will say a lot of things about you that will want to make you like, okay, no, uh, why am I the one? See, whatever people think about you is none of your business. Yeah, because the moment you make other people's business your business, you leave your own business and carry their business and make your their business yours. You lost then, me, but how how wouldn't that affect your reputation? And is that not a bad thing in the long run? That's what I'm saying. So whatever they think about you is none of your business. Don't carry people's business and make them your business because you have your own bukata. You have your own content you are trying to make. So you're not carrying this content on your head. Please, how are you going to finish your own to survive? Okay. You get it. So whatever people think about is none of your business. You are your own pastor. And don't think, don't see that, oh, I can't get here. You can be anywhere. It, it can take, it took, probably took me five years to get to where I am today. You can get your break, breakthrough in two months. Okay. You get it. And don't don't say don't think you can't surpass anyone don't don't tell i i, I find it offensive when people say i want to be like you no don't aspire to be like me be greater than when you, when you aspire to be greater who says i want to be who i am right now i've not even gotten any right now we just start work uh -uh. why the play 
You get we just they start. So don't aspire to be like someone, aspire to be greater than them. So you know that your focus is way more than what you're seeing right now. You know that oh. what you, what what your target is, family is driving the best. Me, it is Ro Rolls Royce and it will be it will be legit, it will be that woo. You get so ah uh, oh my god, I'm I'm ah uh, I'm too good. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh. Oh. See, I am you're getting your aspire to aspire stage right now. I know that I have to cross. <laughs> I'm about to cross. I am too good. I know. <laughs> Just be yourself. I'll be happy. Okay. <laughs> We're good. Okay. How do you stay? How do you stay relevant? Real quick. How do you stay relevant amidst the ever-changing trends, and social media, and content, and everything you want? How do you stay relevant? So when, so when, we well, don't see yourself as a god, yeah. When people are when people are revolving, you revolve with them. Now everybody's doing thriller, they are doing TikTok. I took my oh, that, that is, to this other day. I've been doing thriller and TikTok too. Even myself, I'm not doing it better than most people. You get continue. If if to go comes back tomorrow, I will join to go back. I even have to go back. If to go who we'll join everything will join them. Don't see yourself as I'm God of Twitter, I'm God of Instagram, who you have. In two months, somebody else will overthrow you. You get so if they go this way, follow them, create new content with that platform, they go this way, follow them. You to learn, read more, study, don't see yourself as you've arrived by right there. You never you never reach anywhere. You just start. Okay. Um someone is asking, Obola says how to create good content as an entrepreneur. I, I we already discussed that earlier on. Yes, Probably when she, she we'll reach, about, um, we'll talk about Yes. So you can watch the replay, Mobola, and you definitely get um, insights. Someone is hailing you. Say, idea, I want to kill you. May not kill you. So I know I am. I know. <laughs> I can know. I be your diver? That's your friend. That's your friend. Know. Wisdom is an issue. Familiar is a vibe. As you use in your words. I know. <laughs> You know too. <laughs> you know. I know now. This why I know. Like yeah, I hope I. I know, right? <laughs> thank you very much, and um, guys, thank you very much for joining. Thank you for your time. We hope that next time when we are, uh, how are you? You're going to join us for another live session, and that will be very helpful. Thank you for being such a vibe too. Thank you. <laughs>